10 seconds to go. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. Back in 2018, I went on the air and I announced to all of you that for the first time in my life, I was going to be a father. It was one of the greatest moments and greatest announcements that I could ever announce on any platform, on any given stage. Later on that year, Ariel came into the world. You hear her every single time you turn on, have faith, let it begin. You hear her say, no, 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 no. You hear her saying, have faith, let it begin. Or at least trying to. And for the course of the last three seasons, going into the fourth season, you've seen her and you've, well, you've heard her grow. You've allowed me into your hearts, into your homes, and into your life. And I, too, have allowed you in mine. I'm happy to announce that for the second time in my life, I'm going to be a father. Now, I did make that announcement, but I think that with all the distractions and everything that has been happening, it kind of went a little bit under the radar. But yes, I am going to be a dad again. It has been announced, and we're excited. But nothing could be more exciting than to find out the gender reveal, which we now know. And now it's only fitting that today, on this Friday, to close out the week, August 20th, 2021, I reveal to you the gender of our next child. Sit back, make sure your tray tables in their upright positions, because today is another special moment in my life. Half faith, let it begin. Gender reveal starts right now. Check this out. Broadcasting live worldwide. Hi, Daddy. Ariel, can you say half faith? Then again. On June 16th, 2018, a show designed for you, The Daily Commuter, went live. A weekly show all about faith. A show with motivational topics, inspirational stories, and personal testimony set out to change the world. Have faith, let it begin. (laughs) One day you'll say it. (laughs) Can you say have faith, let it begin? (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Daddy loves you. (laughs) Daddy loves you. Welcome to Have Faith. Let it begin. Here's your host, Angel Santana. Ariel, can you say, have faith? Then again. Let it begin? Then again. Say, have faith. Then again. Let it begin. No, no. No? No? Okay. And that will never get old. And uh, Ariel, years from now, um, I want you to know that nothing changes. You'll always be daddy's little girl, and you'll always be my special firstborn. But now it's time for we, for us to bring in baby number two. And baby number two, who has yet to be named, um, is some, something that we're going to work on together. Because we don't even know yet what we're going to name this child. But what we do know is that on January 25th, 2022, this baby is coming into the world. Now, I'm not going to do what you normally have to do on most shows you have to wait all the way to the end to hear the announcement that is just not right and that's something that i hate so the question is is it a boy is it a girl Let's count it down. T-minus 20 seconds. Is it a boy? Is it a girl? Come on, take a guess. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. 
It is with great honor that I announce to all of you that on January 25th, 2022, Ariel will be a big sister to a beautiful baby boy. Finally, I will no longer be outnumbered. <laughs> Folks, um, yes, uh, we are having a boy. I am honored, <sighs> touched, <laughs> definitely a little tears in my eyes. <laughs> and it's not because it's a boy, it's just because I've always wanted two children. I was grateful for one, and I'm so blessed to say I'm going to have two. You know, when you plan on being a father for the first time, you don't realize the, the lack of sleep, the work, the preparation, the changes in your life, all the things that come with being a dad. That with balancing the way your marriage works and learning and understanding the importance of just how important it is to be a, a woman, meaning my wife and all you mothers out there, I am just so, I, I'm in awe because all of you do so much. All of you in, endure so much a change in your bodies and all the things that you have done uh, to prepare for the day of that birth, I bow down and say, thank you. I, I salute you. And, you know, as a man of faith, um, I'm praying that everything continues to go the way it's been going, meaning healthy. We haven't uh, heard anything negative. All the blood work has come back in our favor. And um, we're just truly blessed to have um, this new addition to our family. And I'm more excited for Ariel because she will not grow up alone. She will have, I mean, don't get me wrong. She's got many nieces and, and another nephew. But, you know, it's nice to know that she's going to have that sibling um, beside her and and um, and hopefully uh, this boy will not be uh, just like me, a little bit uh, <laughs> um, less confrontational. But uh, hopefully uh, he's just, just as forgiving, polite, courteous um, as my father, who um, who I'm, and my mom. And of course, you know the way we raise uh, uh, him. I'm sorry about that. I had to pause. I had to sneeze. Well. As you could tell, which is, doesn't happen often, I'm kind of uh, lost for words. Um, it's still hard for me to to make that announcement without tearing up and crying. So how we're going to do this episode is very, very simple. This episode is dedicated to my unborn child. It's um, We haven't and we will not announce the name. We will do this just like Ariel did. When Ariel first came out of uh, the womb and, and you heard the first cry, that's when we made the announcement, and that's what we will do for our son. So, stay tuned, count it down until we know the names. If you want to give us suggestions, we'd love them, so feel free. So here's a message to you, baby boy, Santana. I've, I already love you. I cannot wait to meet you. You're going to find out that your dad has a podcast. One day, you and Ariel will co-host or host this show and carry it on to the next future generations. And one day, when you get older, you'll know that this library is for you and Ariel. So that you too can listen to your dad for future generations and your children's children. I want you to know that I'm going to raise you the same way I was raised. By being courteous, being kind, by understanding that women are the most precious thing on earth and you are going to treat them with all the respect in the world. 
and you're going to respect others. You're going to respect their opinions. You're going to respect and understand that no one is to be judged and everyone is a creation of God. I cannot wait to meet you and I love you from the bottom of my heart. And to Ariel, your big bro- your little brother is someone to cherish, someone to be aware that he is going to be there for you just as much as I expect you to be here for him. I love you both exactly the same. Nothing can change the way I feel. We will always be the first of everything because Ariel, you are my firstborn. And baby boy, you're my very firstborn boy. So you both hold the same title in my heart. And I hope that I will do everything in my power to make you proud to be my children. In closing, to my wife. The day I met you, you were my best friend. And you still are. After 15 plus years of being together and of six years of marriage, you continue to inspire me. You continue to show me the power that you possess and the strength and the determination and the drive and the will and the nonstop ability to do all that you can to be successful for me, for our family, and for our home. Rachel, you are truly an amazing wife. To have faith, let it begin family all over the world. It is always an honor and a privilege to share in my good news and sometimes in my bad news. Why? Because we're family and family sticks together. Yes, maybe some of us will never meet. Maybe we'll only speak on Twitter or social media. Maybe we'll we'll cross paths in a prayer as we pray at the same time. But I know one thing. One day, we will all sit at the table next to our Heavenly Father. And if that is the time when we meet, I can't wait to embrace you and say thank you. To each and every single one of you, thank you so much for being a part of my life. Thank you for allowing me to come into your homes. Thank you for allowing me to indulge you for the last 13 or so minutes. But to share with you this great announcement. Let me share this last bit of information for you. We talk about all different types of episodes from the powers of prayer to the crazy date stories to the remember whens to the ability to share when we're depressed, when we're upset, when our faith is struggling. God has never left our side. He will remain that GPS. He will comfort us. He will be with us and he will always be by our side because God loves you. God believes in you and God will never ever look at you any different than the way he's looking at you right now with love, with power, with the will, with the ability to smile and say, I created you. Go out and change the world and I'll do it with you. May God be with you. May he shine his light upon you. May he grant each and every single one of you peace on earth. Have a great weekend. I'll see you again on Monday. And never forget, have faith. Let it begin. I cannot believe I get to say I'm going to have two children. Wow. Hey, Dad. Amari, quoting Amari, my nephew, He holds the title for the first Santana boy, but he has no problem sharing in his title reign. Now we have two Santana boys, and the last name will live on forever. Thank you for listening to another episode of Half Faith Let It Begin. That's right, Ariel. We're done with another show, and it's always great to have this show with you, my love. You know, we're going to encourage each and every person to listen to our show every single weekday. That's right. You and I are going to help change the world. Do you think that you can do that for me? Huh? Yeah, you know you can. She does. We want to let you know. and it, Yes, we encourage you to listen to our show each and every weekday. And it's going to be live at 730. 
make sure you're subscribed to our show. Make sure you get ready. Fasten those seatbelts because Ariel and I and my family are going to bring you a new topic, a new story each and every day, right? Isn't that right, Ariel? Yeah. And we impress. <laughs> She's smiling at me. Guys, enjoy your day. <laughs>